Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to learn about HTTP requests and then uh, JSON which is really the stands for JavaScript object uh, notation but we're not doing JavaScript here, it's just it's just become the standard of way objects are passed between a client and server. So this is a real important technology and really how clients server technologies are built today is we're going to write an application, we're going to send some commands or parameters to a server and then they're going to interpret those um, parameters and they're, they're going to pass us back data. So what uh, we're going to do today is build a, a health monitoring nutrition exercise app and so we're going to give it the amount of exercising we've done and it's going to return back the number of calories based on our weight and our size and age and other things. So what I've done is uh, I found, a, I found a, um, an API, an application programming interface that we're going to use and then we can send this uh, server um, the commands or parameters and then the data will be returned back to our application. So this is a, a popular API called Nutrition IX, um, 20 million API calls a month, some interesting things that use natural language so we don't have to really spell out uh, the exact workout that we did or the, the name uh, it interprets uh, things like I ran three miles today and it will return uh, the uh, calories burned for three miles uh, while running, not not while walking, but by running. So it interprets that naturally, and that's called natural language programming. So um, they have a this is a charged uh, data server or API, but we're going to use the the free mode to create this demonstration. And for your application, when you go to do this, you'll need to click on get your API key, and we you require an API key and then an application ID to be able to build a, build a prototype system. And that's what I did, is I clicked on that and got the, the app uh, key and, uh, and made an ID. So that's a little bit about um, nu Nutrition IX, which is the, the API that we're going to be using. Now, I pulled up the documents for this too, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, it's called hit this endpoint, and the endpoint is really just a URL. So we're going to pass to this URL, we're going to use a method called post, and then we're going to post the parameters of the information that we want and then we're going to return the data. So there's the endpoint. Here is an example of the request and response. So let's click on that and uh, it gives information about uh, how to set up your headers and we're going to use this and then here's the, the request query and this is the type of information that we're going to get back. Um, ran duration of time that I was running and the number of calories. So let's, let's get started. Let's program this up. I'll show you how to do this. This is, this is pretty straightforward. So there's a couple of modules within Python that are very important to be able to implement this type of application. And there's a popular module called Requests, and it's already built into Anaconda, so you don't have to go uh, download it and install it. So we're just going to say import request, and then we're going to import JSON. We're going to use both of those. So let's do this. I'm going to create um, this variable called endpoint, and then I'm going to use endpoint information from here. So let me just copy this over. Copy that. Go back here. We'll call this our endpoint URL and uh, copy that in there. And then the other thing I want to get that's important is how to make the query. So let me grab that information. Um, we'll just use what they have in there even though I'm, I'm not uh, 75 kilograms. I'm a little bit bigger than that. So here's that information. And then we're going to use the request and we're going to return the data in response. We'll just call it R and then we'll say request. And then let's take a look at uh, this functionality. So I just hover over the request because we've imported it. It's got the help information and it basically says R equals request. And then there's this method called get, but we're going to do a post because the API server that we're using said that we need to do a post method. So let's type that in there and then hover over this. Okay, so there it says pass the URL, pass the data, and um, its default is none, or JSON, and its default is none. But we need to tell the system that we actually are using uh, the JSON. So I've, I've actually got this set up here. So what I what I've done is I've just put in my little snippets here. There's the API ID that I got from Nutrition IX and then the API key and then here's how you develop the header. You, you make, make another dictionary with the app ID and app API key and then you tell it we're going to be building this application and using JSON. So let's just copy that over and then uh, now we, kind, we have built up the pieces that we need to pass in to our post command. So let's do that and um, yes that all looks 
right. So let's go ahead and then say post, and then we need to put in our URL, and we called it endpoint URL, and then we want to pass in our header, and we call, so let's say headers equal, and we had it all capitalized, and then we want to pass in the query, which is a JSON query, and we have all those pieces. So let's run that and see if we get a response. And I didn't, I didn't copy over my API, the app ID and API. So let's do that. And now we have, put it right before the header. So now we have all the information that we need. And we'll run this and we don't get an error. So everything looks good. So we're getting this response. So we need to understand how to work with this response. And this is where JSON comes into, into play. So what we want to do is um, we want to take the response and we want to put it in a, a variable or, a, 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 yes, assign it to a variable called data and take the information and use the, um, use the JSON uh, library or that we imported above and uh, execute a function called load s. And basically what load s does is take a, the JSON and string and then convert that into a Python dictionary. I really kind of like, like the way the uh, JSON is documented. And you can do that. We can show the documentation here as, just by hovering over the, over the uh, name of the module there, JSON. And then it actually shows some examples in the help as well. And what we're looking for is load s. And it has several different uh, parameters that we can pass in here. But what we're going to pass in is the re response itself, the R, and then we want to convert, you know, take that text information and uh, the string. And what load s does as a function, or a, met a method in this case, is take a string and convert it into a Python dictionary object that we can work on. So um, we'll do that. And then the next thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, JSON has some um, some built-in functionality to, to make it easy to visualize the data that's that's coming back from the server and just to see it as a human would want to take a look at it and uh, that's a function called dumps so what we want to do is take the the response and dump it out as a string that's easy to read so that we can understand how to write some code to parse the data and so we'll go through the the parameter list here we want to take the uh, data itself that's been returned, which is our, which are um, that we've just created. We take the, the Python object here, and then we're going to turn that back into um, a string. But then we have this uh, nice command indent equal two, and what that will do is make for every uh, new uh, structure within the string, it will indent it so that we can uh, visualize it on the output. And so let's just do that. Let's just print what this would look look right, like into the console. And we run this, and now we can see the information that we're getting back from uh, the Nutrition IX server. So notice that it's a dictionary. So it's a dictionary, and then it has exercises. And then inside of that, this is interesting, it's got a list, basically. There's a, you can see it's a list. And then it has all these different uh, key value pairs that we want to look at. And one that looks that we want to pull off is this NF underscore calories and maybe this duration in minutes because up here we ba we basically have said we ran three miles as our query and so it took that information and parsed it on their side and came back with okay um, that's about 30 minutes and the calories that were burned for this person who whose weight is 72 and a half kilograms and heights 167 um, these are the calories that are, that are burned so I'm going to change these to my variables Male, my weight is about 100 kilograms, and then I'm about 186 foot tall or so. And then uh, I'm 55 years old. So now if we run this, I can kind of know um, how many calories that I burn in 30 minutes. It's about four, 400 to 500 calories. So that looks really good. So let's complete this program. Um, by then, let's, let's go ahead and then use our iterative use the iteration, iterative uh, nature of Python to list out all the information that's inside of this dictionary uh, or the data that we converted from JSON into a Python dictionary. So what we want to do is say for, for every exercise 
in the data and they use the descriptor exercises and so we can see that so there there's exercises we know that we're in uh, we've returned the date and we printed out the data here we see exercises and then in for each exercise key we want to um, create a name um, is associated with the exercise name uh, key and they have a name key here the name is running so this is the exercise that we're doing and then we want to also get the calories so we'll look for that variable and it was uh, I believe it was NF calories and then let's make sure that we have um, let's see we got the the activity which we're going to call name and then oh this duration minutes would be important let's output that as well so um, duration equals exercise and then it's called duration underscore minutes so if we run this we'll go through oh, we, let's go ahead and turn this off so that we're not printing out everything so there's a, a way to just comment whole block so I use the comment command to do that and I want to make sure that we print this out each time so we'll just say print uh, name cal and duration as our first attempt here to see what happens and we say okay the name is running the cows are 490 calories and the duration is time so we could uh, make that into a, a nice output say print um, and let's use the F string and then the activity is running maybe if we say if the activity is is running print F and then we want to say and the time is duration print f string calories burned equals and then I'll put this last variable in here so now um, if we run this we'll have a nice output and I have an error and I see what it is I did not put in the variable name in my F string so I can come over here and if the activity is and we name that variable just name so if we run this now it says if the activity is running and the time is 30 probably should put minutes after this so we'll just go ahead and do that 30 minutes the calories burned is 490.33 calories that's that looks really good now notice if we come up here and we say running, we ran three miles or we jogged three miles, we can say we ran three miles and uh, walked two miles. Let's see what happens here. So it says run. Okay, we've got this. We probably should just go ahead and comment that out. And we want to have a little bit of a separation. So let's put a um, escape character, a new line feed in here. So let's just do this, and that code is uh, forward slash n. And then now every time we run this, we get a little separation between the two, and we have a little story. If the activity is running and the time is 30 minutes, the calories burned is 490. If the activity is walking, and so forth, it's 233. So um, this natural language processing is pretty interesting because we can put different activities up here, and it magically understands what we're talking about through NLP. And then out, we can then pick off the variables. The running is what it's identified in the sentence and walking. And then it also identified that, the, that miles and converted that into something that we can use uh, from a minutes perspective. We pull that off and then it's calculated the calories. So that's a, that's a quick overview of some really important functionality and technology that the whole web runs on. Um, HTTP request and, and we get a response from the server and then we in and the data structures in this standard JSON data structure, and then we learned how to manipulate that in Python and turn it into a dictionary that, that we can then parse and get the information out of it. So in your exercise, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing, but you're not going to do the exercise application. You're going to come and look at nutrition. So the endpoint for you will be 
this V2 natural nutrition, and it's very similar. It's a post, and they have example request, and you can um, implement that very similar to what I've done for the exercise application. All right, until next time.